And APB, American Protection Bureau, voted number one best on Long Island for all your security needs. Call 631-390-9050. That's 631-390-9050. APB. Jimmy, I gotta take a dump. What? No. I mean, I need a dumpster. <sighs> well... For all those needs, you need to call Big V Dumpster Rental, Long Island, New York, 631-900-DUMP. Hmm. Sir? Ah. Manscape? Uh-huh. Uh, you know, have you tried the new equipment that's been sent? I'm afraid because it says Weed Whacker. <laughs> I'm scared. Maven, Manscape. what are you thinking about Love Manscaped, it. dude? Love what it. it. What do you use it for? Necessity, what? <laughs> What don't I use it for? Put it this way. The only hair I have on my entire body is these eyebrows yeah. that oh. you see. These wow. caterpillars racing to the middle of my nose. That's it. That is it. That's all, that's all I have. And that's all I want. That's the so big. Manscaped there, is a you, must. We were talking before the show. There's nothing worse than just hair. Yeah. Right? Hair on a woman, hair on a man. It's just bad. Absolutely. And it's the one thing that the older I get, it starts growing more in unwanted areas absolutely i hate it i'm gonna ask you a question uh -oh. just gonna go out there oh boy go for it you're doing a deed yes <laughs> again i don't want you to have to admit this because we as men we try not to admit this but if you're gonna oh, go do I a know deed it. on a woman I know would you rather have her be hairless or a little hair racing stripe or <laughs> racing <stripe>. full <laughs> retro bush racing well, stripe. retro bush is out yes thank you retro bush is out yeah um i don't mind a small, well manicured landing strip. <laughs> Every now and then, if it's completely, and I'm talking like baby's ass bald, mm. then I I start. Where is that pedophilia line yeah. that I'm that I'm I don't, I don't wow. want to wander into that. That's very interesting. Like that. I never thought about wow. that. You're a smart dude. Oh, yeah. so if the landing strip is clean enough for the plane to go in smoothly, you're cool with that. If the landing strip is. Has like I said, well manicured. Yeah, you yeah. can see both sides. It's not like blinking lights on both sides I, of that. Landing? I just don't. I don't want. <laughs> you know, I don't want the shrubbery going off into yeah. unwanted areas on that. Gotcha. As well. Oh, yeah, look but, what you found. Ooh. I got to be all honest gotcha. though. Hey, the, ah. the, the older <laughs> I get though, I don't. I think I don't think I can be as. Uh, I, I found I, it. Have, I found have it. Have you ever gone down there and like just like you, she slowly brings down the underwear? Then what is? Retro. Just Absolutely. Retro. You're like, whoa. Wow. Yeah, like, I'm like it pops out? Do you like walk out or what do you do? No, I, try, I muster through. I muster up the you courage to get He's a trooper. Yeah. He's a trooper. <laughs> Gotta give him an yeah, wow. not, all, not all heroes wear capes. Yeah, I, there you no, go. I hear you. Uh, <laughs> listen, <laughs> can't, I couldn't, I couldn't Super say Bush. I couldn't say it. Well, <laughs> if you have the same beliefs as Maven does, Manscaped could help you. Absolutely. The weed whacker. Absolutely. What are you thinking? I'm thinking that I may have to, like, you know, go in a room, close the door, and hang out with the weed whacker for a little while. Yeah, I think you're a retro guy, aren't you? I like 70s adult films, if that's what you're getting at. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, but with that, we're going to take a quick Batman. commercial break, and we'll be back with this wrestling icon, Maven. We will see you in a drop kick second. Uh, a drop kick. Uh, you spleen. think we're going to make the piece? He doesn't make peace. What are you talking well, about? We'll, you will interview, yeah. and how, what, what, however it goes. <laughs> however it, however it goes. Oh, God, so let me ask you soul. something. Of oh, all the wrestlers boy. that you've been an agent with, what wrestlers could you not stand? Oh, nice. I was going to ask that. Oh, Lovely. And, and you better well, answer, Robert. I'm going to get fucking heat if I mention names. Oh, you see this? He's doing it again. <laughs> you should run for office. Fucking... He's like, you know? I'm ready for this interview. Ask away. All right. I'll, I'll give you one. I'll give, I'll give you one. Okay. I had one wrestler. Look, we did business, but I, I, I felt no disrespect to the person at all. I just felt I didn't connect with him well. I, I use my whole thing is trying to connect with people and you know build relationships to for future business and just whatever. Just one person that I don't I felt I didn't really connect well with. I'm just not sure why. I can't pinpoint it, but it was Shelton Benjamin. Shelton I used them one time, and I don't want to get I don't want I don't want to get into Benjamin. details. I just I had him in for a tour. I just felt it didn't you know I, we just didn't connect. Okay. And I'll just leave it. I'll just leave it. At, I'll just leave it at that. I'm pretty good with people and, you know, good, better, and different. I'm pretty good. And we did we did our business and, you know, it was fine. But I just, like, it, 
usually in the car ride you talk to people i just i just didn't feel like i had a lot to talk about or you know just a lot to you know did you I like to get to, to know him? people behind the did scenes. you reach out to him for a second booking because eric is usually business first i don't but... think i've done no wow he really freaked you out no he no, must I, have freaked I, you out I, I, how about how about how book. about kevin nash from the click this podcast how'd you get along with kevin Kevin is very, very high intelligence, right? Kevin, we think. Kevin Nash is Kevin, But I could see him being a bit awesome. arrogant. You, you know, he, he I always deal. had a good relationship with Kevin. We've always done business. Um, he got mad at me back in 2010, 11. Uh, you know, I, we're doing a booking and like, you know, Kevin, Kevin's a good guy. Um, but like, he, he was stressing me out over something. I, don't, I forgot what it was. It was stressing me out over something. Uh, and then after that, after that weekend, I got Bell's palsy. Wow. Yeah. And, and if you notice in the pictures, like, if you ever look at a picture of me, especially on my Facebook, like, one eye's closed, one eye's open. I, if you look closely, you see it. And my face drooped a little bit. I'm better. I'm better now. Um, I, I kind of, I thought it was, you know, if you know Bell's palsy, you know, it, it's a muscle, it's a nervous thing. And nobody knows how it comes. Right. Uh, uh, it could be done by stress. It could be done by the way. You know, uh, all these misnomers, whatever. Mm -hmm. So, like, I didn't have it before, but I had it a after that one appearance with him. So, because he, he kind of stressed me out so much. And, you know, and I don't want to put the heat on him. You know, we've, we've Kevin and I have spoken about by it. By the way, JB it, says the Shelton stuff is probably because of Dan Marotti. Was Dan Marotti close with Shelton Benjamin? Is I, that I, I, you're, just, you're just drilling me with, with Dan Marotti. But no, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not drilling you. People are writing this. I, 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 don't, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. Answer I, the I, question. I can't, I can't, I, you're, not, you're distracting me from Kevin Nash. <laughs> so, so you guys are cool now? No, is that no, the no, 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 no. So, so, so. So evidently, I had X Pac for an appearance, and I told X Pac that I got you know the Bell's probably you had the problem with Kevin, and then that. So he told Kevin this. Oh boy. Kevin came back to me <laughs> after with a you know because of a potential booking, and, and and fucking tormented the fuck out of me before the booking, where I thought he wasn't going to show up for the booking. So you could so you would have another. A, a, a disaster, and we were supposed to do a convention, like a Legends of the Ring convention, Jeez. a wrestling show down in <laughs> Delaware. It, it it got it got so bad. It got so, and I I I went through this already with Kevin, so I I, I knew what was coming because he was talking on the phone, and you know you know and you know, and, and you can't out talk Kevin. You know, he's like Enzo, one of these guys is very smart and very you know you say anything and he'll just twist everything and you know you can't when you can't win. He's one of these guys you can't win. So he, you know, I was, you know, I, I had to, I had to deal with the phone thing, and I had to worry about him not showing up and this and that. But he showed up. We did business. We barely spoke to each other, but we did, we did, we did business with each other. We did, we did business. Good, no problem. We kind of spoke at the end, and we kind of like, we kind of squat, we kind of squashed everything, and then like that was it for a while, and. You know, I, I seen him every all over, up and down. You know, every so often, and it got everything. Once I had my kid in two thousand and fourteen, like everything got washed away. Like newfound respect for me. You know, and you know, and me now when I see Kevin, we're cool. Everything's fine. Do you, so, so do you think in this world that the wrestlers have a certain amount of respect for certain? Like, you could see that they have this respect for Oliver. Yeah. Right, Sean Oliver. Yeah. Do you think they have lower respect for like? I'm sorry to say this, for someone like you, like